finally parked. Sorry, Ick Ben Engels. <laughs> Sorry, Ick Ben Engels. Who's Ben Engels? Oh God, in that, um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I should have shouted that. All I was doing was going, sorry, 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 sorry. Is that put your hands on the wheel? To be fair, the guy, there was a guy and he just went like this, smiled at me and went, yeah, it's this way. He's like, yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, thank goodness for that. We parked up in a, in a multi-story, which is much better because it's all one way. <laughs> yeah. And here's, here's us saying, oh, yeah, you kind of get used to it after a little while. Yeah, yeah. It's really, not too bad. Not too bad when you get into it. It's like, oh. Yeah. Google just took us down. Uh, to be fair, Google took us somewhere that we shouldn't have gone. There were signposts saying that we weren't actually allowed down there. Um, yeah. So, hey. Hey. That's, that's one for you, Google. We're here. We're going to go and have a look around the shops, see what there is, have a look, see what Ustrek has to offer. Let's do it. Nice street park in there, Tom. On the all other lines. Lovely street parking. Beautiful. She was a resistance fighter during the World War II to shot the Nazi police chief who was round up a load of Jews and then got arrested and executed. So there's a statue behind us, which you can see just behind us, which commemorates her bravery. She was only, what, 22? That's crazy, that, isn't it? Yeah, she was only 22 years old. <laughs> Disneyland. Busking in Utrecht. <laughs> okay, so we have decided to have a go at busking. Um, we've only got two pence to make it look like we've got some money in there. <laughs> but uh, here we go. Well, So far, zero pounds. <laughs>
again so far. Good, time. mate. Good, yeah. Not it's bad good. at all. We're doing all right. We've been doing it for 22 minutes. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do what? We'll do one more. One more? Yeah. Thank you, take care. Utrecht was really, really fun, wasn't it? Oh, I loved it. It started off with the, the hairy driving, but then, yeah, got some great busking after out of it. It's great, good. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoy myself. Yeah, it was. So, so we said to ourselves, and this was the thing that we we didn't know whether we'd actually we'd actually do it. It's quite a nerve-wracking thing for us just to rock up somewhere, a different city, or even our own city, a different city, never mind a different country, uh, and just make yourself essentially the centre of the tension for a period of time playing music. It's quite a, an alien concept to, to both of us. So uh, we really took ourselves out of our com comfort zones. Um, we weren't even we weren't even thinking about doing it today, to be honest, really. Um, so we ended up seeing a few other buskers around, just you know, singing, and we thought to ourselves, do you know what, actually? Should we just do it? Like, just, just go ahead and do it. And um, I'm glad we did, because it was, it was really, really fun. There were loads of people that were really appreciative of us playing music. We were just playing covers, to be honest, just, just stuff that people knew. Um, and it was a little bit of a challenge for us to see how um, how much money we could make, and I think I've not even we've not even counted how much we've made, but probably like what like about fifteen euros, maybe fifteen euros, which is quite funny because the parking was thirteen euros. Ridiculous money. <laughs> so, um, we've made about two. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've just about broken even. Um, can't, even can't even get a beer with that later. <laughs> Yeah, the funny the funny thing was though with with all of it was that um, we didn't see any police. Now we were kind of semi aware that you might need a permit to play in Utrecht. Uh, there's nothing really official written down from any uh, like government website or anything like that. Uh, certainly not like there is in uh, in England. So we were kind of we were kind of pushing our luck a little bit doing it because we we thought well. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? The police will literally just show up and they'll just move us on or tell us to stop playing. Um, and that was exactly what happened. Yeah. The, the one, the, the only policeman that we saw, and probably maybe even the only policeman in Utrecht, to be honest, uh, rocked up on his bike, 
uh, and said uh, started talking to us in Dutch. We obviously we didn't understand, so we apologised. Sorry, uh, it bang angles. <laughs> sorry, it bang it bang angles got us out of another hairy situation. To which he said, uh, "Do you have a permit?" And I said, "No, oh, obviously." You can you can probably hear on the audio of the uh, of the clip. Uh, we said, "No, we don't." He says, "Then you must go." Uh, like, okay, yeah, no worries. We'll go. We weren't going to cause a scene or anything like that, were we? We're yeah. just going to just move on. Uh, but then we got caught up in a in a conversation. It's like it's like one of those awkward conversations where there's there's stuff happening around you. You're kind of semi-involved, but you want to go. There's no real input that you can give because we don't speak Dutch. <laughs> so. We were, we were at the point where we were like, okay, uh, I'd, I'd, if it was in England, you could be, oh, we best go anyway, thanks a lot. But actually, we didn't have that vocabulary to, to to get ourselves out of that situation, so we just sort of just hung around, perhaps a little bit longer than we should have done. Um, and then we saw that there was this uh, this girl who was also busking around. She gave us the dirtiest look as we were heading back to the car. Um, this is, we saw that she was sort of eyeing up a couple of the spots that we were playing. Um, it gave us the dirtiest look. But uh, there we go. That was that was Utrecht. Uh, unfortunately, we we wanted to do a little bit more um, recording of us playing. I didn't really feel confident enough because I'm recording on my phone, leaving my phone out so it could potentially be like picked up by anybody um, and, and potentially stolen. I'm sure Utrecht's a very safe safe place uh, but uh, we didn't want to take that risk essentially. Uh, so we are now uh, on our way to Osnabrück, Osnabrück to uh, head to the hotel, chill out for a little bit. It's been a very very long day. Uh, it's not even been 12 hours yet it's been about nine and a half hours and we've we've done a, a heck of a lot um, so we're gonna do that have something to eat and probably check out where uh, where the festival's going yep, sounds good to me. yeah how are you feeling about today good man yeah I enjoyed it enjoyed it yeah I'm looking forward to some, um, some having a chance to chill out for a bit in a bit go and get some food and then yeah see where uh, See where the festival is. Yeah, exactly that. So, see you on the other side. Just slept on the fact that we've just entered into Germany. We're in Germany. Yeah. Deutschland. So, I thought we'd have a passport control or something. Or, I don't know whether there's one up here. But Again, we've not done any research into this. Could, so be, could be zero, like 10 euros, could be 10 cents. Could, be, could be a grand. Yeah. In which case, we'd best get busking. Or, what I've heard is on the toll roads on here, you pay, pay the toll, or you get all your services for free. So you can pay, eat what you like, the services. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just an update on the, uh, on the windscreen crack. It's making slow progress. When I say progress, I mean it's just cracking a little bit further into the screen, but it's fine because we've got plenty more uh, clear, clear nail polish. We've got plenty more sellotape. The only bad news is Germany's roads are not as good as uh, Netherlands roads. They seem to be a lot more concrete than tarmac. Welcome to Road Review. Oh, back on a jolly again. 
Not looking where she's going, she's on the phone. Dominoes. Dobby Dom. Three minutes already, 800 meters away. I thought it there somewhere. Away up, there's tea sorted, Mackies. <laughs> right, turns are a lot easier in this country, aren't they? They are. I'm gonna get out of here, I think. Why the hell not, eh? <laughs> Yeah, just fancy it. Just fancy it. A bit of cobbles. Yeah. Oh, lovely cobbles. 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 Right, lovely for this to, for the windscreen. Ah, cobbles. This is not good for the window. No, it's not. There you go. Parking to the left. Well, to the left. To the left. To the left. Your destination is on the left. Mm. Oh, which bit do I go in? This, this bit, the right, right hand side. Where that bloke is the standing. Right hand side. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right, where that bloke's standing. Yes. I haven't got a ticket, so let's get one, baby. Let's do it. 24 hours, 19 euros. Woo -hoo. Yeah, that was just 40 quid. Just a second. Got it. Ooh, swanky. Swanky parking. Does look There's nothing posh. down here. Posh Something parking. Here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Check this out, this is a car park. Okay. It's a car park and the sound's completely dead. Yeah, there's hardly any echo, it's Bup. really weird. Usually in these places it's like echo madness. Clap. Oh, there is a bit. A little bit, but not, bit. not much. Not as much as you expect from the normal multi-story car park. The more you know. <laughs> Zero then. Right, so. Hello, we have a reservation for Thompson, please. <laughs> it's nice, this hotel. Mm. So, we've just checked in, and this is our Holiday Inn room in Holiday Inn Os Osnabrück. Lovely service. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It is actually, nice. isn't it? Yeah. Two separate beds, which is what we asked for. Nice little, whatever this is. Corner sofa. Yeah. Um, lovely telly. It's actually quite a big telly, to be yeah. honest. Well, big old mirror. Big old mirror. All that's mirrors. Ironing board. Ironing board for ironing. For climate to control. Look at that, it's all digital. Bit of this. Oh. Hair dryer. Geezer. Oh. There you go. Geezer. Uh, what else have we got? Glasses. I'll tell you one thing that has impressed me. Dove. Dove soap. Yeah, dove soap. <laughs> dove soap. You don't get that in holiday inns in England. No. Big old shower. With dove soap and dove deodorant and that. Oh. Yeah. How many? How many? Two showers. That is? Yeah, you've got one there and one there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Double shower. That's your douche, Nigel. Isn't it? That's, your, that's your, your head and your bum, innit? <laughs> <laughs> so, in addition to that, we've also got. Hefele safe. Hefele. Hefele. And. Disco fridge. Dead <laughs> <laughs> end. A Juliet balcony. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful. That is actually you know, the girl party girls out there. That is actually a piece of glass. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Tom. Alright. As I reckon it went today then. Decent. Yeah, decent. We got we got here. Um we got well we had a look around Osnabrück, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, we didn't really video and well, I didn't video anything of it mm. to be honest. I just wanted to just sort of take it all in. Mm. Um, we had some curry waste. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Curry waste is banging. I love it. Then we spent the rest of the time looking around for a cash point and they accepted our, our debit card because it, it, there wasn't one. Because uh, no. we wanted a beer. We wanted a beer at the actual festival and they only took cash. So, we've got to get some 
cash out of the cash machine. And they, I tried, tried in one didn't we, that we could find. And then on the way back, just literally outside the hotel, was an ATM. So, hey, <laughs> hey, we had a beer in the hotel instead. Yeah. So there we go. Two sorry English guys stuck in Germany now. To Monday. To Monday. Yeah, yeah we're coming out on Monday. Monday night. So there'll be plenty of, of content tomorrow from Osnabrück anyway, as we navigate the, uh, the throws. It's relatively early, it's only 20 past 10, but I am knackered, I've driven, yeah. well, I've driven through three countries in two days. So we're probably gonna head to just have a chill out, go to bed, wake up bright and early in the morning, go and get some breakfast from somewhere and see where we end up. We've got to get there for half 11, so we've got plenty of time in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.